Megan, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about celebrities that I've met that I had no idea were celebrities. I work in the film industry and I do a lot of background work, I do a lot of stand-in work. I am just clearly oblivious to anyone I'm ever working with because <laughs> the amount of times I've accidentally talked to a celebrity is just too many damn times. Obviously, as a background actor or as a stand-in, you're not really supposed to talk to the actors at all. Like, it's not really a part of your job. With stand-ins, sometimes it is, but for the most part, you don't really talk to them. You don't converse with them. They do their own thing. I just chose three for this video that I think were funny. Now, lastly, but definitely not least, this is the most embarrassing one for me. <sighs> Let me explain. Okay, so one day I got a call directly from casting. They're like, yo, bitch, we need you on set like as soon as possible. We had a no show. I'm like, yeah, cool. I'll be there in like half hour. I get to set. I had no idea what set I was even working on. Like I didn't even know the like the name of the movie or anything. I just knew it was like a film of some kind. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, I went once again over to Crafty because apparently this is just where I bump into literally everyone. I just have no idea who they are. If you don't know what Crafty is, Crafty is the place where you go and get free snacks and food and drinks while you're working. And I got myself some water because it's such a hot day out. And I still can't believe this. I feel so stupid. This guy walks past me. He was just wearing sunglasses. He looks like I won't lie. He, this time, he looked a little familiar. The other times, I had no idea. This time, the guy looked a little familiar to me. Like, I was like, K. Hey. Like, I feel like I recognize him. But he didn't feel so recognizable to the point where I was like, I know this guy or this guy's famous. Like, really? Famous. Just me being me, thinking, oh, I probably recognize him from working with him on another set. Not thinking he's an actor. Thinking, oh yeah, he's probably like, works with a camera or something, okay? I'm like, oh, it's so hot out, hey? And he's like, oh yeah, I know. It's boiling. And I was like, it's crazy. Stupid freaking small talk jokes. And he's like, ah, yeah, we're talking a little bit. And then he left. And, um, Turns out <laughs> that it was Orlando Bloom, you know, the guy who, you know, is on Pirates of the Caribbean and every other movie imaginable, the one who like made out with Selena Gomez behind a freaking dumpster, you know, the casual Orlando Bloom, no big deal. I have never felt so stupid in my life after that conversation. So the first one is... <laughs> This one happened in 2017, in the springtime, and I was doing a bunch of night shoots on a movie, and I went to Crafty. I am just making myself some tea, trying to stay awake, because it's like 3 or 4 in the morning. I kind of like, I kind of look over, and there's this really handsome man just kind of there, and I'm like, oh damn, like, he's cute. And me being me, obviously I wouldn't flirt with him like in the workplace or anything, but I just wanted to like talk to him, because like, why not? Cute guy gonna talk to him so I'm gonna make it to like oh yeah like oh how are you doing so late at night you're making like small talk he's like oh yeah like you know it's so late and we're just having a conversation just talking about you know the late night and how we're both tired just you know that kind of stuff just normal conversation he's like okay bye and I'm like okay bye I had finished making my tea and I start walking out and my friends that I was working with that day they're like Megan what the hell are you doing and I was like drinking my tea like what are you talking about and they're like you were just talking to the star of the film that it was Trevante Rhodes the guy who was on the freaking poster for Moonlight you know, the movie that just won the Oscar. <laughs> and I was like, girl, what? And I listen. I watched the Oscars that year. You know, for a quick minute, La La Land won. Then, you know, we all got surprised and it was Moonlight instead. Um, yeah, I did not recognize him at all. 
but he's literally the dude on the poster. So yeah, that's how I met Trevante Rhodes and had a nice little conversation at Crafty with him. Now the next story, I was a youngin. I had a small little background day when I was like seven or eight years old. There was this guy who was playing Santa Claus in this movie or TV show, like I don't even know what it was. I think it was a movie. Like my mom ended up like chatting to him and they kind of like were conversing throughout the whole day. And of course, I was too. By the end of the day, all the other moms are coming up to my mom and they're like, oh my gosh, like, how was it? Like, we could not believe that you had the guts to do that. And my mom was like, what? And I was like, mom, like, what the hell did you do? And it turns out it was Josh Holloway from Lost and so many other things. And that was like in his prime time, like Lost like, you know, moment he had, that glory of fame. Yeah. My mom and I hung out with him for the day pretty much because every time he was off set, he just said, just come hang out with us. So those are the celebrities I've met <laughs> that I didn't realize were celebrities. This has happened too many damn times to me. I don't know what it is. I know my celebrities really well, but then as soon as I see them in person, I'm just like, checked out. I'm like, who? Who, who is she? Who is that? I have no idea, clearly. So if you enjoyed this, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.